Today we're talking Ryan Johnson, Star Wars, and what's coming up. Let's look into it. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. Today I'm going to kind of go over, I think, I say that a lot. Today I'm going to go over. Well, today I'm going to roll over in my grave because of Ryan Johnson and him thinking he still has a trilogy and the fans I don't think are going to stand for it. At least the real fans. I mean, some people may... Well, for sure China is probably going to be definitely out, right? From that, they're not going to want to have anything to do with that after the rapid exit from the theater that The Last Jedi had in China. So... Let's look at some of these articles. Okay, here, here's the, let's see, let's move over here to this article about Ryan Johnson confirms he's going to return to Star Wars after Knives Out. So Knives Out looks like a fairly bland, mediocre movie. Maybe as, I don't know if as fans, we could uh, get together some kind of a boycott of all of Ryan Johnson's properties. But um, it, it, the movie doesn't look that that movie doesn't look that good. But here we're just saying Ryan Johnson's not done leaving his mark on Star Wars. Um, well, his first mark was pretty huge. He basically alienated half of the fans. So what more does he have to do? Is he going to alienate another half? Get it down to nothing? So that no one's going to go see Star Wars at all? Ah, uh, no, stay away. So. He, so it says, Ryan Johnson's take on the famous characters from the galaxy far, far away was one that did not sit well with many fans across the... Many fans? It created groups of people to come at Star Wars and come at Lucasfilm. I mean, in mass, people were going at Lucasfilm for what this movie did and what happened and everything else in it. So, please. Some know. So... There are some personality changes among the popular characters in addition to new ones that fans didn't seem to approve of. Um, you took, yeah, you took characters who and completely gave them different personalities. And the whole point of a series of movies is so you can follow those characters' personalities through the movies and know kind of what the movie's going to be about and how the character's going to react. And then probably don't introduce characters that are pointless and dumb. Okay, that's, you know... Uh, I try and not hold too high a standard, but, you know, I mean, oh, I just saw, you know, Shazam last night, and pff, wow, great film, great film. I mean, a few tiny problems in it, but um, overall, holy cow, good film. Um, so, what do we think of Ryan Johnson's Return to Star Wars? I, I think it's dumb. I think it's stupid. I think he and Kathleen Kennedy... Uh, I mean, I know someone who has been to lunch with both of them, and they say they're just swell people. I'm like, okay, but being swell and being talented and able to do justice to the source material are two completely different things. So, and we will see at Star Wars Celebration if Kathleen Kennedy actually does show her face. Um, I will not be there. I know a lot of the fandom menace and geeks and gamers, and uh, a lot of those people are going to be there, so... If you go to their channels, tune into their channels, um, I'll be watching and kind of maybe putting together, you know, a group of, you know, what I see coming out of Star Wars Celebration. I'm sure they'll be doing some things uh, live online and I can watch that. I can put that on while I'm at work because I'm the senior administrator and I kind of have control over what can be put on the network. Isn't that convenient? Yes, it is. Okay, so... Let's look at what's upcoming. That's not up. That's not that one. We got this one. Upcoming Star Wars movies. Okay, so we got episode blah. Uh, ep episode I'd like to exit out. I'd I X. I'll skip this one. I X. That works. I like it. Some untitled Star Wars movie for 2020. So this list was updated. Blah 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 on. November 6th, which is why I picked it. It was like six months old. I figured it's fairly current. It's on Nerd Much site, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so some blah, 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 untitled, probably. 
dull and boring movie. It's unclear whether or not this movie will be have Boba Fett or something else. Who knows? Um, uh, my dog, our dog, well, my dog's not here, but our dog is named Boba Fett. So, I mean, I don't know if they'll let me take him to the movies, but that's my dog's Boba Fett. Okay. So Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi Kenobi film. Film hasn't actually been announced. So this is what we have is unannounced films. So we... They, so this is this is what we have for Star Wars, um, a movie that no one wants to see, that no one has any interest in because of the worst Jedi, and then a movie but that nobody knows anything about, and nobody understands. It's just we might make one, right? Okay, whatever. So and then a movie that doesn't exist, that has not been announced, that. Ewan McGregor doesn't know anything about it. So, <laughs> unknown. Then we have the movie that no one in the world would ever want to go see. Something separate from the episodic Skywalker saga, which I'm sure is going to be all about virtue signaling and social justice and yellow man bad, orange man bad, white man bad. You know, all these, all these things. Women are the only ones that can save the galaxy, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's going to be, since he's going to have complete control over that. And more than likely, whatever story he gets and puts together is going to be stolen again from the fan fiction that's already out there. And he's just going to throw it together and say, oh, I made this up myself. But we all know the truth and the lawsuit will tell the tale at some point. Okay, so now we have some other movies from the uh, creators series Game of Thrones showrunner. So another thing we have no idea about, no release date, no story date, no idea what it's going to be on. No, I, a lot of I don't knows. A lot of maybe, maybe nots, right? A lot of, hmm, should we make a movie? Should we not? I guess Bob Iger saying, uh, maybe we should slow this down. We're making too many. No, you're making too much crap. That's the problem. So we'll see. I mean, none of these, nothing so far is interesting because there's no details. All right, so then there's a canceled Boba Fett movie. So, so here, so up here, it says this unknown 2020 movie was a rumored Boba Fett movie, but now down here in the list, it's a canceled Boba Fett movie. Okay, so no one knows. All right, so that's all the movies that are coming up in Star Wars. So it would seem to me that if you are in control and in the direction of Star Wars, as is Miss Kennedy, or Mrs. Kennedy, however you want to call her, if you are that person, you would want to have some type of controlling arc that flows through everything you would want to know okay this is going here and have a timeline put out for you know x amount of months x amount of years so then you can do things like position strategically what weekends you're going to release movies on then you will get you know your movie you put it somewhere and then everybody else runs their movies away because they think you're going to be chewing up all the box office and they don't want to be near that so and be able to strategically do that but Star Wars has none of that. It's like, it's like, it's almost like the person running Star Wars has no idea what they're doing. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's actually true. Maybe Kathleen Kennedy has no idea going from basically a glorified secretary to head of, head of Lucasfilm. My opinion. Okay, so, so we don't know much um, about that. I mean, there's TV shows and other things. I'm sure there's going to be some things coming up on the... Disney streaming service. Ah, I don't want that on the screen. I'm so sorry. I didn't want Roundhead to be on that screen for very long. We'll go back up here. Whew. Sorry, my apologies. Um, Roundhead Ryan is just... Uh, makes me shake. But anyway, I am coming off just doing some cooking. I made, uh, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free veggie corn dogs which are pretty good so if you need a recipe for that just let me know i'll give you a recipe okay so 
So do we have anything to really look forward to in Star Wars other than Episode Nine? I'm sure the trailer is going to drop at Star Wars Celebration and there will be billions of views on it. Um, so we'll see. We're kind of waiting for that. And I, I mean, I'm not really waiting. I mean, I don't... I mean, I got Avengers Endgame and we've got Dark... We saw the Dark Phoenix trailer, which was really good. Um, things like that. Uh, but nothing... And I really doubt the name of the next movie is going to be Skywalkers. I mean, that's that's just dumb in and of itself, right? That's you know, that's pointless and wrong and dull and boring. But and it's not pandering. I mean, I would think they would want to have a uh, title that panders to some to some group, some you know, some identity politic group, some some identity pandered or something like that, you know. You know, the, you know, bring up the forces female garbage again, right? The, the you know, the force is some alien or something. Who knows? But anyway, that's what we have to look forward to with Star Wars. Oh, I did put in, I added, so you notice I have, I have different panels now on screens and stuff. And then I also created this. This is the sky cam. So we now have a sky cam. It's kind of kind of go over everything and kind of see more of the studio and, and everything else. You can wave to the sky cam and all that. So, but that's that. So I keep adding things, you know, nobody notices, but I have this little, this guy's going to probably sit right here. He is a uh, little Buzz Lightyear, which is my favorite character of all time. So Buzz Lightyear. Okay. So anyway, that's Star Wars. That's Hopefully, hopefully at one point in these films, they'll come together and someone will say, why don't we make something that the majority of people want to see and not destroy the characters and personalities and all that? Why don't we do that? I don't know that they're ever going to do that with who's in charge and uh, Kathleen Kennedy's story group at all. So... It, it doesn't look good. Marvel doesn't look good. DC is looking better. That's all I got to say. So we'll go with that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I do videos like this about Star Wars and Marvel and movies and TV shows and photography. And I do some computer geeky technology stuff. That's kind of part of my day job that I also add in there every once in a while. So um, if you like any of those things, subscribe, hit the little bell all that fun YouTube stuff, and uh, you'll see me around, all right? Well, thanks for watching this. Take care.